O'Brien, what do you got? I need to see you in person. Oh, Jesus, O'Brien, just would you tell me what you found? Is, is she... Is she alive or isn't she? I have something to give you. O'Brien... I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien... Oh, God damn it. Deep. Iron Mike's looking for you. He said... Booze, man, listen. Just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta... You remember what I told you? Um, the night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds and people who had federal clearance levels. Wait, Deke, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. Hold on. Information. What information, O'Brien? Look how could you possibly have left to say that I would give a damn about that? This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The war on terror, global warming, none of that matters now that we're in the shit. But it's all just part of the goddamn conspiracy. Do some so listen up. Started by good old Uncle Sam, using war as an excuse to look for weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist. And global warming? Just a bunch of lying scientists. Well, in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom and gloom. When you think about it, all of this, just another way to build unrest in the people. If we're too busy arguing about polar ice caps and genetically altered food and jihad, to what's really going on behind the curtain. Yeah, that's right. I gotta be fooled the rest by of these all nests. Direction, folks. Yes, I'll come back later. They point one burn way. out these nests. You look straight at them. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. What's up? I just, I just wanted to say thanks for the dog. It's no worries, brother. I mean, it, it followed me. You know, wouldn't leave me alone. What was I supposed to do? Hey, hey, get down. Hey, come on. Easy. Yeah, sure, it followed you. Hey, uh, I named him Jack. <laughs> yeah, Jack would have loved that. Uh, no, he wouldn't have, which is why I did it. <laughs> all right, easy, easy, boy. All right, all right, enough, enough. Okay, Deke, I gotta go. Boozer out. You're welcome. You like that asshole? I guess you won't be ambushing anyone else today.
So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust, who, like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right. About your wife. Where did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. The wife bugged out with a recon unit, east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No? Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Oh, I want to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. A lot worse.